With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to consider a parallel beam of light of wavelength 600 nanometer and intensity 100 watt per meter square. Now we have to calculate the energy and linear momentum of each photon and also we have to calculate how many photons cross 1 cm square area perpendicular to the beam in 1 second. So we know that the energy E of photon is equal to hc over lambda where h is Planck's constant, c is the speed of light and lambda is the wavelength of the light. The Planck's constant is 4.14 into 10 to the power minus 15 electron volt second. The speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and the wavelength is given to be 600 nanometer or we can say 600 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Now this comes out to be 2.07 electron volt. This is the energy of photon. Now we have to calculate the momentum of this photon. Let us say momentum is P. We know that the lambda wavelength is equal to H over P or we can say the momentum is H over lambda also E is equal to HC over lambda so we can take lambda is equal to HC divided by E put it here we get the momentum to be equal to energy of a photon divided by a speed of light so energy of a photon here is 2.07 electron volt divided by speed is 3 into 10 to the power 8 so this comes out to be 0 0.69 into 10 to the power minus 8 electron volt sec per meter now for the second part of this question we have to calculate how many photons that cross 1 cm square area perpendicular to the beam in 1 second now the intensity of this beam of light is 100 watt per meter square that means if this is an area of 1 meter square the photons that passes through this area the energy of these photons is 100 watt that means 100 joule of energy passes in 1 second through 1 meter square area so if we have to calculate how much energy would pass from 1 centimeter square area this we can get from a unitary method from 1 centimeter square it would be 100 joule into 1 centimeter square divided by 1 meter square in 1 second so this comes out to be 10 to the power minus 2 joule that passes through 1 centimeter square area in 1 second now this is the energy of the photons that passes so if we have to calculate the number of photons the number of photons we have to know the energy of one photon the energy of one photon that passes is 2.07 electron volt 2.07 electron volt or we can say 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 in order to convert electron volt into joule so we get 3 into 10 to the power 16 number of photons that passes through this 1 centimeter square area for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today